Woke up feeling like your voice is gone? The culprit might be Streptococcus pyogenes, the pus-producing bacteria behind over 7 million infections per year. If some of these normally harmless dudes make their way past your immune system's defenses and multiply, they'll cause an infection most commonly known as strep throat. You know the drill. Sore, inflamed, mucousy throat, a visit to your doctor, a course of antibiotics, crisis averted. But what you may not know is that when you pop that first pill, the crisis is just beginning for your good bacteria. This is Microcosmic, a look at the universe inside our bodies. Antibiotics attack our bacterial universe one of two ways, by stopping bacterial cell division in its tracks, or making bacteria cells vulnerable to, well, murder, say by preventing their protective cell walls from forming. Antibiotics save lives, but along the way, they attack more than just the bad bugs invading your body. They also kill most of the good bugs that already live and work there. The good news? Your microbiota recovers. The bad? Your microbiota can become permanently altered, giving some otherwise harmless, opportunistic bacteria a chance to take over and wreak havoc. Like C. difficile, a nearly antibiotic-resistant bug that caused dangerous infections in half a million colons in 2015 alone. Antibiotic resistance is a deeper issue. Bacteria may be single-celled, but they're not stupid. They want to live too. So they do what all cell-based organisms do. Divide and mutate their DNA to increase their chances of survival. Every so often, a mutation is spat out making a bug impervious to antibiotics. That's resistance. When a resistant mutation multiplies into a colony, that's trouble. And it's happening today more than ever. Why? Well, we're popping more antibiotics than ever. 47 million more than we need, according to the CDC. Many for viral illnesses that don't even respond to them. There's also more antibiotics everywhere else. Like in farming, where 80% of all U.S. antibiotics go to livestock. And in household cleaning products, where scientists say they clean no better than plain old soap. Our obsession with killing bacteria for a cleaner world is showing signs of messing with our health. Scientists are gathering a clearer picture of this every day. A 2015 study links higher rates of antibiotic use over a 15-year period to higher incidences of type 2 diabetes, while a 2016 study revealed that mice treated with antibiotics showed significantly decreased neurofunction compared to untreated mice. With antibiotic-resistant superbugs on the rise and our own microbiota on the line, how can we restore the balance? It starts with saying no to antibiotics when you know you don't need them, to cleaners labeled antibacterial, to buying meat raised with antibiotics. By protecting the good bugs, as well as the bad ones, they won't be nearly as bad as they could be. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.